What's up guys? I'm Josh and today we're going to be going through the five tools that I use most commonly to work on a tree like this and why I use the brand of tools that I do. So stick around if you want to see some footage of me working on this tree and learn about the tools that I personally use. Alright, so the brand of bonsai tools that I personally use are a brand called Kikua. Now Kikua are made in Japan and they've been in business for around 60 years. And they've been used throughout the years by professionals in Japan. And this has given them the chance to kind of adjust their tools and adjust the materials that they use according to what the professionals prefer and the feedback that they get from them guys. So putting my trust in a brand like that just puts my mind at ease because I know that if it's good enough for the professionals in, the Japan, in Japan, then it's definitely good enough for me. Now me personally, I use the carbon steel range of tools. Now the reason for this is, is carbon steel is actually a harder steel than stainless steel and it's not going to require sharpening as often as the stainless steel tools um, will. Now I much prefer to just look after my tools rather than having to sharpen them. And with stainless steel, they won't rust but they will go blunt quicker. They're not gonna go blunt super quick, but they will go blunt quicker than carbon steel tools. So that's the reason why I use the carbon steel tools. But let's go through and have a look at the tools that I personally use and the tools that I use to work on this tree that's right next to me. Now the first tool that I've got here are my trimming shears. So these guys are used just for trimming buds, decandling, and some smaller branches, but you don't really want to cut over, um, overly big branches with these because you don't want to cause a separation in between your blades. But these Kikua shears that I've got here, they're quite weighty and you can feel that they're made from a really good quality steel. You know, we know that with steel, you can feel the quality of it by the, you know, the weight in it. If you get like a really light steel, chances are that it's full of air pockets. And the cheaper bonsai tools that you see out there, so you see kits on Amazon for like $100 and they come with everything. Those, those kits are usually cast. And with cast, they're full of air bubbles. And the minute you put a bit of pressure on them, they'll break, snap, bend, all that kind of stuff. So you can really feel the quality and the weight in these Kikua scissors. Now the other thing I like about the Kikua scissors is, is they have the, the holes where your fingers go in their scissors actually have enough room for your fingers in them. And especially those of you who have got bigger fingers. Now I've got really small fingers and I find that some scissors just don't have a lot of room for your fingers in there. But these ones have quite a lot of room and they're very comfortable to hold. And even though they are a little more weighty because of the quality of the steel, they haven't got too much weight in them to where they're going to hurt your hands when you're working. But I would say one of the biggest bonuses of these scissors is, is how sharp they are. You feel the blades on these compared to a cheaper set of scissors and you can just feel the quality of the edge of these. And we know that in bonsai that it's absolutely important that when we make a cut on the tree we need to make a precision clean cut because that that wound will heal quicker and you're going to spend less time fixing problems on your bonsai just by having super sharp scissors, branch cutters and all those kinds of things. Another bonus with these scissors is, is there's not a lot of play within the rivet, you know, and it's, it's set in there very well, you know. 
these scissors just scream quality all over. So that's why I choose these scissors over some of the other scissors that are out there. So let's move on to our next tool. So the next tool that we have here are my Kikua branch cutters, once again, carbon steel. Now these branch cutters here, once again, you can feel the weight in these, just the quality of the steel and the sharpness of the blade. And when it comes to branch cutters, these are for cutting your bigger branches, not with your scissors, but with these. And one thing you want out of a set of good branch cutters is the confidence that if you cut a branch, you're not going to snap the head off. And that's the confidence that you're going to get out of these things. Kikua tools last for years upon years, okay? And that's the difference between buying a good set of tools straight up, okay? So you could probably buy, well, in our shop at least anyway, we sell these branch cutters for $100 a pair, okay? And some of you might think, wow, that's steep, you know? but that's a good quality Japanese made, professional tested set of branch cutters. So $100 really is not that much. But when you compare that to a set of mid-range cutters like this, that might cost you $42, yes, they're you know, a good quality tool, but you're probably gonna buy three, four, five sets of those over your bonsai journey, and you're still only gonna have one set of these. So these are the better investment straight up which is why you know for me personally i just go for the good stuff straight away now you can get more expensive tools out there but the quality doesn't seem to really jump once you hit the benchmark of kikua kikua are that sweet spot of not super expensive and overpriced but super high quality and if you ever hold a set of these even just you know operating the operating the branch cutters you know, you can feel the quality in the hinge. As I said, you can feel the quality of the sharpness. So I absolutely love my set of branch cutters that I've got here, which is why I choose these ones. And you'll find a lot of other professionals out there do choose these type of tools. But let's move on to our next tool and see what we've got. All right, so the next tool here are my knob cutters. So much like the branch cutters that we just spoke about, super high quality steel, you can feel the heft in them. Um, really nice handles, really nice to grip, and they've got those curves in them for you. Once again, super sharp edge, which is gonna get you those clean, precise cuts, which is mega important with this tool, okay? So with this tool, we go in, we cut those little bits of um, knob off that we leave on the, on the tree, which is why they call these knob cutters. Okay, so when we cut something off, we know that we keep a little stub so we can watch that die back so we don't lose more of the tree than we want to or more of a branch or whatever it may be. But with these, on some species, okay, and it's not all species of bonsai, but with some species, we need to come in and we actually need to cut into the trunk, which is why they've got this shape on the edge of them. Okay, so our branch cutters, which we've seen before, will make a flush cut. But with these, they'll actually um, make a concave cut, okay, into, into the trunk or into a branch. And then what that allows is space for callusing to come in and heal over, and then you'll end up with a flush cut on your tree. So it's mega important that your um, concave cutters or your knob cutters that you buy are super sharp and they make a super clean and precise cut on your tree because that's gonna start the healing process quicker and the tree can just get to work healing over, callusing over and then barking over and make that super flush cut on your trunk to make it look like there was nothing even there. So that's why it's super important that if you are gonna buy a set of these, I suggest going with something like the Kikua ones because like I've mentioned on the other tools, you just have to feel that super sharp edge that's on them and make sure you're super careful that you never have your fingers in there when you're cutting or, you know, mucking around with these tools because they'll cut you in an instant because 
Kiki will make super sharp edges on their tools, which is one of the reasons that I love them. And let me just say, I've been through quite a few set of tools over my time. And, you know, I've got a lot of friends who are bonsai professionals and, you know, I've, I've gone through their tools. A lot of them do use Kikiwa. Some of them do have other tools like Masakuni and some of the other tools that are out there. Um, but yeah, these are just, the sharpness on the edge of the blade is unrivaled. I love these. But let's move on to our next tools. All right, so our next tool here is our wire cutter. Now I do have a few sets of wire cutters, but these are the main set that I will carry around with me, especially when I'm working on a tree like this, because they can handle the bigger wire. I do have the scissor type as well. But these are my bullnose wire cutters. They just protect the tree uh, when you're cutting wire off, especially when you're cutting wire off the ends of the branches after you've wired up. So once again, super hefty, high quality steel in the Kikiwa ones that I choose. Um, you know, super solid rivet in there, very smooth to use when they open and close. Um, very well designed and very well made. I'm gonna have this set of wire cutters, hopefully, until, you know, the day I've gotta give all my bonsai away because I can't pick them up anymore. So, you know, not much to say about wire cutters in general, but the, the set that I use here, these ones, just absolutely high quality. Um, I love these guys. And you guys will know that if you're working in a professional environment and you're doing a lot of wiring and a lot of dewiring, this is one of those tools that you're gonna really favor because when you're using these all day, if you've got a crappy set of wire cutters, your hand's gonna hate you. If you've got a good set of wire cutters, your hand's gonna love you. So definitely invest in a good set of uh, wire cutters. But let's move on to our next tool. All right, so our last tool here is my set of uh, gin pliers. Now I do have the curved head set here. Now these, are good for what we mostly use gin pliers for, which is actually creating gin on a tree. So, you know, as you see, we go up and we crush the bark all the way up and down the branch, and then we're able to peel that off even using our hands or the gin pliers. I do also have the straight head set of the gin pliers. They're good for um, tying down your guy wires. But once again, like my other tools, just super good quality steel. You can feel the heft in them, the precision in which they're made. Very easy to operate. The, the hinge here in the middle where the rivet goes through. They're just super straight, super well made and put together. And I should never have to buy another set of these again because these aren't gonna break and these aren't gonna, you know, reduce in quality over time. So these are my Kikiwa gin pliers and once again, I can't recommend these guys enough. All right, so that's the five basic tools that I personally use. I know that this sounds like a bit of an ad for Kikiwa, but you know, personally, these are the tools that I use. and I just love um, the Kikiwa tools. And I find too that with Kikiwa, they have like a massive line of everything. You can get Kikiwa nozzles, cut paste, um, cleaning um, accessories like cream mates, and you can get sharpening blocks. You can get sickles, um, they have potting mesh, um, tweezers, you, you name it in the world of bonsai, they have everything. And me personally, once I find a brand I like, I like to have everything within that brand because I know that I can trust it. You know, they even have sieves, uh, soil scoops, everything. So for me, I just love being able to have the one brand of everything. Now that's just the type of person I am. Once I find something, you know, I grab onto it, which is, you know, I'm showing you my five basic tools that I use here to work on a tree like this. And I do have a lot of other tools and maybe I can do another video showing them. But once again, it's gonna kind of sound like a kick commercial because I use basically everything they have. 
I have their watering nozzle, I have their sieves, I have their soil scoops, I have their cream mates, I have their potting mesh, basically everything Kikua I use personally. But, you know, as I said, once I find something that's quality, I can trust, and it's been tested by, you know, the Japanese professionals. And not only that, now in the Western world, a lot of professionals out there use these tools, so that's why I gravitate towards them. And that's why I've got no problems coming on my YouTube channel here and recommending these types of tools to you guys. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the work that went into this tree here next to me. And I hope you got something out of, you know, showing you the five basic tools that I use the most. Which, once again, they're the five tools that I would recommend that you invest in first if you're going to invest in bonsai tools. Because they're the tools that you're going to use the most. And that's why I wanted to put this video together showing you that this tree really started out as rough stock and they were literally the only five tools that I used working on this whole tree to get it looking like this. Once we move on from there we start looking at more specialty tools for more specialty jobs. But until next time, enjoy your bonsai journey.